this video, we're going to be looking at model prep and uh, model cleanup in ANSYS Discovery. We will start with a quick example of model prep for machinists cleaning up um, a model. And then we will look at model prep for analysis, starting with a fluid volume extraction and then start looking at some cleanup more focused around potentially FEA. Obviously, all these techniques um, used and shown can be used on whatever job or whatever model you're working on. So they are interchangeable. So in this example, um, firstly, um, we're going to create a quick fixture for this part. So we're going to use our combine tool in the design tab to quickly create a fixture. This is my target. This is my my cutter. And then we can remove any regions that we're not interested in. So these intersecting regions. So this leaves us with my fixture that I may wish to um, potentially machine. If I zoom in on certain areas, we can see that if I was going to machine this, I may not want to have these very small like faces that might be uh, better machine if these are just flat. So there are certain things that we can do. And one of the most powerful tools in model cleanup and model prep is the, um, the fill tool in ANSYS Discovery. So using this tool, I can select on, for example, these two faces, holding control, click the fill tool, and we can see I've just cleaned up and simplified those areas. Um, for example, on this back face here, we might want to get rid of this area here. If I may wish to um, get rid of this area, first of all, what I'll need to do is fill in this round. We could always reapply this later if we need to. So we can take a, a quick measurement of that um, and find out the volt, it's two mil. So I'm going to use the, um, the fill tool just to get rid of that. This allows this ridge here and this, these faces to know where to fill up to. So then we use the fill tool again and we can clean up that area. If we wanted all these faces to be one rather than split into multiple faces, we could always use the fill tool here and we can see we've just cleaned up that area. If we double click now and wanted to re-add that round, we can use our pull tool, type in our value that we're interested in, which is two mil. And we can see we've just reapplied that rad. So that's a very quick example of model cleanup for uh, machinists, but obviously those same techniques can be used for model prep for analysis. We'll now look at a fluid volume extraction example. Now we're looking at uh, model prep for analysis. This is a, uh, a fluid volume extraction example. So we've opened up our uh, part, our assembly in this instance, we can see it's made up of a number of components. So I have, um, colored them so you can see the different components. The tool that we're going to be using here is the, the volume extract tool. So in order to do um, a CFD analysis on potentially the fluid flow, we do need to extract the fluid volume. So we can use our volume extract tool to do this. Um, and the way this tool works, it's a very intuitive tool. You basically click the volume extract tool. And then the first step is to cap any open, any faces with an opening. So any faces with an opening, you need to cap. So you select on those two faces. These are the two with an opening. And then next we select a seed face. So we select a seed face and this can be any internal face. I'm going to select this one. If we wish, we can preview the inside faces to ensure that we are getting the fluid flow and we can hit the play button to see that travel through. Um, when you're happy with it, you can hit the tick box and our fluid volume should be created. If we look in our tree now, we should have a component called uh, volume. And this is the, the fluid volume. And then we can run CFD on this. In the next example, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to actually um, show potential leaks. If you are having trouble extracting a fluid volume, it could be because there's misaligned components or there's actually leaks in your part, um, which will stop you creating that fluid volume. So you can use this tool to actually um, identify those as well. So I've opened up the exactly the same model, except this in this assembly, we have a, a leak. So here we're going to show how we can use the volume extract tool to basically identify any issues with when trying to extract a volume. So normally if you can't extract a volume, it might be because there is the, the, the part isn't watertight. Um, so using the volume extract tool, I can first repeat the process where I cap off the opening faces and you can obviously have more than two, then select a seed face. And here I can use the preview inside faces 
and we can see in this example that the outside faces are now all highlighting red which means that there is uh, that the fluid basically is escaping from the part using this tool here or this slider bar we can basically slide the part through and you can sort of identify where the leak happens so we can see this face here is obviously highlighting the outside face is highlighting red so we know that's the area to sort of look into so now if i look into it i can start to identify where that potential issue is so we can see here there is a slight hole here which is why um the the fluid is obviously leaking from this part so that's the that's the issue um, obviously you can use that tool to identify by eye you might not have been able to see that area but using the volume extract tool it will highlight on your assembly where the issue is and you can use um, that to uh, find any any errors in your part so we're now going to look at some other tools and um, potentially focus more around FEA so lastly we're going to look at again a little bit of model cleanup model prep for analysis in this example it might be more of an FEA example but again the same techniques can be used in any any models um, firstly with this model we can see potentially there might be um, some embossed and engraving logos that you might want to uh, remove in the prepare tab we do have a detect tool and one of the options is logos here we can specify to search for certain heights and then you can do a number of things convert the area to a name selection um, but you can also delete the detected area so you can see that's removed that area then we're going to go back and use our fill tool again so this is in the design tab but we're going to use it this time in conjunction with another tool called power select power select basically allows us to search for features so if i click on one of these radiuses and i go to this tool down here i can use my power select tool to find all the rounds in this in this part or if i'm working with an assembly we can search the whole um, assembly and um, i can select all the rounds equal to one mil so you can see i've clicked on all those we've found 32 faces i can hit the fill tool and you can see hopefully that those have been removed if i go on to a, a larger one we can also search for rounds between values so in this instance it's set to zero and two mil but you can also type in your own values there and now i'm going to select all the rounds between zero and two mil you see we've got 68 faces within one click we can start to de-feature these we can see that some haven't been removed down here um, that might be because these aren't um, true radiuses especially these ones here where it might be a variable rad but we can manually select them as long as you've got them selected and manually fill them in as well another tool that you might use in the prepare tab um, if you are working with assemblies is the clearance tool if you have contacts in parts and you actually want to create contacts between parts um, and they're for whatever reason not contacting and you have a large assembly and you want to search that assembly you can use the clearance tool to basically highlight any areas that may have um a um, may, may have gaps so you can see here that this has got a 0.1 mil gap between these two parts got a, a solid part here and another part there so that's a 0.1 mil gap um other tools that you can use uh, for example in this one we may want to defeature this area so one thing we could do is first create a, a sketch of the hole that we actually do want to create so i'm going to use my circle tool to do that and i can create that up to there or up to one of these teeth i'm then going to use my fill tool so i end up with a, a surface there so i've got a surface i can hide this surface and all i want to do now is basically extrude this face just to basically fill in that area so you can see we haven't got a hole there anymore but because i had that surface i can use this to cut through the model and recreate it so now we can see i've got a nice clean hole there and we can apply any forces we want to that hole so that's a short video showing how you can do model prep or model cleanup in ancestor discoverer